Welcome to Prayer and Coffee. In Romans 8, 14, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. There's a great example of this in Acts 13, verse 2. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Not only does the Lord have a plan, a life plan for you, He has a daily plan as well. Holy Spirit will lead you and sometimes convict you as you let Him guide you, guide us through each day. And this morning time in Scripture and prayer is a way to begin each day with Holy Spirit, imprinting His voice and uh, through a Word of God, through the Word, through the Bible that we read. Holy Spirit, the author, imprints his voice in our spirit for today. In Acts 13, verse 4, So being sent out by the Holy Spirit, they went down to Seleucia. From there they sailed to Cyprus. Being sent out by the Holy Spirit that day. How has, been, how has Holy Spirit been guiding you lately? Have you been doing what he is guiding you to do for God? Or have you just been doing what you want to do for God. Psalm 127, verse 1, Unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain who build it. The implication of that verse is that we can build our own spiritual house, but are you letting God build His house? Not the one you want, the one He wants. His ecclesia. Through you, or are you busy building what you think He needs? Or maybe the way you think it ought to be. Acts 13, 52. And the disciples were filled with joy and the Holy Spirit. Then in Romans 14, verse 17. For this kingdom of God is not eating and drinking, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is at the center of the life of God. He is the eternal breath of life for each day by which we are born again, made alive in Jesus Christ. And when his joy is on full display through us, the joy of him leading us, guiding us, directing our lives each day, it testifies of the life of Christ to those around us. Let's pray. Father, lead me, guide me by your Holy Spirit. I surrender to your purpose, your assignment, the assignment you have for me today. Lord, keep me from presuming. Save me from stepping out to do the works that I plan, that I choose to honor you, instead of listening for what you have called me to do. I know that you are not honored through the works that I plan and choose, but through obedience to the guiding of Holy Spirit. Let me not sacrifice your purpose on the altar of good intentions. Send me out daily by Holy Spirit that each of my steps may be established in you. Help me to abide continually and be filled with your spirit and your joy. Prepare me also for the unbelievers who will approach me because of the joy that Holy Spirit abides in me, that joy in me from the Holy, Holy Spirit. Give me words. Give me words to share with them the hope you have given me, that they may also receive you, Jesus. Our eyes are on you. Send a greater anointing of your spirit as we pray in your mighty name. 